1996 Toyota Tacoma 3.4 engine V6. This is my DIY snorkel with two inch PVC. I will show you guys how it's done. We have a 90 degree, a two inch EMT conduit clamp. You do have to bend this a little bit to open it up and then um, three eighths bolt. A 45 degree and then this is like a 90 or a 45 wide angle this right here you can do any way you want and then the pipe itself is a two inch as well i went ahead and bought the five footer and then you can just cut that to size and then there's also a two inch street elbow that goes in here and i'll show you how it's connected under the fender you have this piece here this is what you have originally under the fender on the 3-4 motor, you have a two-piece. You have uh, this piece here that's bolted like that. So with the street elbow, you use the street elbow and the female side fits right inside of here. And I went ahead and put a hose clamp on it to tighten it up for now. Eventually, after some testing, I will go ahead and probably seal it up with silicone so it's fully waterproof. So you have that connection. And then you also have this connection right here. This connects like that. And then this piece goes into the box. So the only thing that hasn't been fully sealed yet is this piece here that goes into the box. This piece, I didn't go, I didn't went and seal this piece yet. Hopefully it's waterproof enough. And then also I didn't seal over here. I also didn't fully glue this piece right here, this 90 to the street elbow, because you might have to remove it in the future. But I did went ahead and glue this piece here, and also this piece here, because these two are permanent. You would never have to modify these. I also didn't go ahead and glue this yet, just because I might want to go and extend this pipe in the future. I'm thinking this is the good height already. It's all the way up to the door. I'm thinking if I should go and use my other spare PVC and cut it higher, maybe go all the way up here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And you can see right here, the door opens fine and closes fine. There's also no, um, when I was driving on the highway, there's no vibration or anything like that. <coughs> this one hose clamp, this one clamp here does it fine already. 3.4 5EZE. V6 Toyota. The air box is very easy. You have one bow here, 12 mil. One 12 mil right down there. And then one 12 mil here. And then you just go ahead and release this 10 mil clamp. And also the MAF, disconnect that. And also this hose right here. And you can go ahead and remove the box. I recommend if you guys are doing this modification, remove the box, take out the air filter, and then also remove the MAF, which is the two bolts right here. This will remove it from the box. So move that out, take out the MAF, take out the air box, and clean your box inside and outside. And use some super clean, that's what I did. I used super clean, I cleaned the box inside and outside, let it dry out. And then you also wanna clean the two pipes that I showed you, the internal pipes. And that's pretty much it. There's no need to modify the box or anything like that at all. It bolts into there. And hopefully I can show you guys the bottom of it. But this is the pipe that I showed you guys earlier. The original pipe. This is one of the connections. Like I said, I didn't go and seal that up. These are the two 10 mil that holds the long pipe right here. And then here's that hose clamp that I was showing you guys. And again, I didn't seal this piece yet. And I might go ahead and do that. And then this is the street elbow. So the street elbow comes out. 90 pipe. 45 and whatever you want up there this is a hose clamp this is like one of those hose from my egr delete you just go ahead and cut it right in the middle and then you can split that up and use that as a uh, ground mitt protection to just prevent it from uh, shaving from the middle and for the hole i use a hole saw two and a half inch hole saw and then i cut at it and i was about maybe a quarter inch off so i cut it at a at a I, I'd cut it again and made it more like an oval shape. So after that, it fits very well. So that's pretty much it for a DIY snorkel. This thing costed me less than 50 bucks. And again, we're not going for looks, we're going for function. 
two main reasons why you want a snorkel is if you got to do any water crossing you need a snorkel or else you will hydro lock your engine and also with the snorkel you have better air you have cool cool air and cleaner air for your engine so those are the two main benefits for doing a snorkel installation this is strictly an off-road rig or slash daily but mostly it's going to be an off-road rig so we are building this to be an off-road rig so we don't care about the looks or anything like that we're not going to dump two three hundred bucks for a nice pretty snorkel we're just going to go with a cheap pvc 50 bucks snorkel hope this helped if you guys got any questions any other suggestions leave it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time